Howdy, y'all. Joe Hills here, recording as I was doing in Nashville, Tennessee. And today on the Hermitcraft Feed the Beast Infinity server, I'm going to be exploring a little bit around my base. As you can see, I've carved out some more of the inside here, put in some more windows. Still haven't gotten started on the basement area that I'm going to put in below the main area. But I think that today I want to go explore out here past the tree. I'm not exactly a tree person or a treeple, if you will. So I'm just going to carry on right past there not exploring it further, but just completely content in the knowledge that it serves whatever purpose it serves as best as it possibly can. So carry on, tree. Keep on, I don't know, turning oxygen into carbon dioxide or the opposite, whatever is your thing. You know, I'm not really here to judge trees. I'm not a jury tree. Although I guess juries don't judge, they verdict or what do they do? Convict sometimes. Oh, hey, what's this thing? This looks fun seems to be some sort of weird fenced-in cobblestone wall. What's that thing called? Hey, if I hop up on here, what does that say? Okay, well, this looks kind of ominous. So let's eat a potato. That makes me feel much better. So if I put, like, a torch in here, does that... No, that does nothing. So this could be anything. Let's try running up to it and seeing what it says. It's an eldritch obelisk. So, if I, like, right-click on it, it does nothing. This is probably some sort of crazy Thaumcraft thing. I'm gonna climb out there, and let's assume that that wall serves some sort of purpose. So we will allow that to continue purposing as it does. But, uh, I'll have to keep that in mind as I do more Thaumcraft stuff later. And if I continue out this way, let's see what we got. We've got a chicken and an egg. I'm gonna throw at a chicken an egg that I did throw at a chicken. Really, it's the same egg three times. But, you know, normally there's a dozen, dozen eggs. Wow, I'm kind of stuffed up because of this cold. Apologies for my poor pronunciation of the word dozen. You people deserve better. Deserve a dozen better. Hey, what's this? Podzol. And moss stone just kind of growing free and natural here. I'm worried about quicksand in this sort of biome. A large fern, more random mossy stone, kind of an interesting setup, and that's some sort of crazy chunk failure here, and that's some sort of crazy zombie fella. Let's uh, see if we can bypass this chunk failure. No, it just runs on forever. Okay, so keeping that in mind, and keeping in mind that mobs might be able to jump through there somehow. Let's look at our journeyman's map. Okay, so Watchful11 one, one is that guy. It looks like I should be able to jump across this, but I'm thinking that's probably not the best idea. Let's just kind of... Well, I can't build out into those chunks. Okay, so, well, that ends that exploration adventure. Let's see, if we head this way now, what do we find along... South. I guess I think we're heading south. Cause see, sunsets in the sunsets. Uh oh, sunset. I did not pack a bunk bed. Let's quickly retreat to that tree and let's jump into a bed that I'm gonna guess is there. If there's not a bed in that tree, somebody was probably being pretty lazy. Lazy tree. Lazy tree boy. Yeah, somebody's a lazy tree boy. That's what that is. Okay. So here we go, running away from the darkness, running away from the sunset. I don't know where I'm going yet, but I guess I'm going there. I don't need to get stressed out or pull out my hair. It's like, hey, Johnny, why are you so long at the fair? I guess it's okay to play, to sing and run all day. And when the moon shines bright, you run into a tree house built by someone else. Stranger tree house party. And here we are, safe in bed. No crazy creeper attacks. Let's just enjoy a moment of rest. Hey, wow, I'm one of two people on the server. Just me and Corrales, who is not making a Feed the Beast video series for some reason. Something about being busy. I don't know. It's not like babies keep people busy. I would have no first-hand experience of that. 
except for all the baby busyness that I deal with constantly. Oh, cool cave. If we head up here, though, let's see. It's kind of a big tree. Oh, it's just a Latin glitch. So that weird podzol forest seems to only go kind of that way. Hey, what's all... Is this ore? No, it's dead leaf piles. Who needs that? A lot of dead leaves up here, though. That's some sort of crazy beehive thing. Let's go see what that is. By hopping through the treetops with our insufficient armor. Yeah, it seems to be some sort of beehive, but... It is just a beehive. Effective tool. Axe. Really? I would have guessed that you would harvest beehives with something else. Hey, there we go. We got a queen bee. Wow. That was a lot easier than I expected. I figured I'd need some sort of crazy bee equipment. It's like equipment, but beater. Let's see what we got over here. Random cows. I could harvest those with an axe as well. Okay, this one has an adorable hat, but I'm going to leave it be. And let's see if we continue this way. We will now continue our tour. On your right, you will see some chunks that have not spawned properly. So, that is... Whoa! Okay, that tree is awesome. Let's go see what that tree is. Also, that squid has a funny hat. And I don't have attention disorders at all. So, let's go explore the funny hat squid. And, can we capture the hat? The hat unlocked is called I'm Different. Uh, I think I had to turn that in through some sort of hat mod. Whoa, I think that's a Thumbcraft tree or something. I like a great wood, but better. Oh, uh, what kind of tree is this? Eucalyptus. Oh, hey, koalas eat those. Whoa, there's another one of the massive trees. So we got two of these. Of course, they're blocking out the sun, so stuff can spawn here. Let's throw some torches down. Oh, good, there's a cave underneath as well. Additional areas for mobs to spawn. Oh, hey, there's a massive open pit, though. That's kind of cool. So, once we get this sufficiently lit around the edges here, we can go check out that cave. Whoa, that's pretty deep. Some sort of cavey ravine. I hope I'm holding down the shift button. Yeah, that's it. Okay. So we got some crazy good ores in there. Well, I mean crazy good like iron, you know, but that's helpful. What kind of tree is this? Oh, this is a redwood tree. So it doesn't have any sort of crazy thongcraft benefit, but it is, you know, super rare or old. I don't know. Either way, we shouldn't jump down into the ravine or harvest this tree because that's really inconsiderate. Oh, Dude, that's an awesome carved out like mountain cliff thing. I'm sure somebody's going to build a base in that. That's just like begging for some sort of awesome construction project. Maybe I should have scouted around a little bit more. Oh, lily pads. I can harvest these to make some sort of like crazy lily pad boots, I think. In the Thaumic, or no, in the Tinker something. I don't know. One of the things I can do has some sort of crazy lily pad shoes. Yeah, what are these? These are not lily pads. These are duckweed. Which is kind of like duck tails, but less entertaining. And a little bit less sharp witted. Let's go ahead and continue this way. Got some stone. We got some things that look like stone. The fact that I'm running into these light glitches makes me wonder if a lot of people don't come out here. You know, maybe I'm a bold adventurer traveling with not enough materials and no bed. Also known as a really idiotic adventurer. Hey, so if I harvest that one faster, do I get the coal just as quickly? Yes. Doing that from now on. Okay, that's awesome. So, now I got some coal that's gonna help. Whoa. Shovel. Leaves. Get out of the way. Let's see. Wow, even more coal. At least I will not lack for torches out on this adventure. Got to speed up this hammer. If I can get some redstone, I can mod it somehow. Wow, the pick is faster than that hammer. <gasps> More stuff I can get. Awesome. So there we go. We got some copper as well. 
this trip is generally going, whoa, fairly decently. There's just so many ores right at the surface out here. I'm like a kid in a candy ore. Okay, so let's see. Uh, if I continue this way, it's just more and more stuff. Trees with fruit plants. I guess they're just, the tree is the fruit plant in that case. Some sheep that are not fruit plants. Are these vines? No. Hey, these are... I can climb moss? Wait, can I shear moss like you can in... Uh... Wait, did I pick up the moss? I was thinking about actually making a whole series about like climbing on vines in Minecraft, and then I would record myself climbing on the vines, and then I would post the Minecraft vines to Vine, and then I'd cross-promote it on Twitter. I don't have a funny wordplay thing about the Twitter, it just is the most logical way to like cross-promote vines. So I guess I could cr grow the vines in some sort of crosswise pattern, I don't know, I'll, I'll figure it out. Man, I was expecting this to be like a random wander around thing, not a random collect all the ore thing. Okay, so let's see what we got over here. More oak leaves. Those are always helpful in this game. Got some sort of... Ooh, iron gravel. It's pretty much like normal gravel, except you harvest it with a shovel, and it's full of iron. So really, it's just full of iron. <gasps> Water infused stone, I want that too. Awesome. I'm going to be thumb crafting away before you know it. And, whoa. Let's see, what's this? More bees. And, oh, hey, even more copper. Man, take that mining. I'm doing better on mine own. Get that axe out. Now, did I take damage last time I broke one of these? Because, like, I don't know, I was attacked by bees or something. That one didn't drop a... Hmm. Okay, so maybe different beehives have different appropriate tools to harvest them. So I might have just destroyed a valuable resource for no benefit. That's how we learn. Oh, is this algae? Okay, cool. I was thinking that was some sort of crazy spiderweb thing. I'm going to have so much trouble getting home because I didn't make any waypoints or learn how waypoints work. Good move. I guess I could just watch this video in reverse and then run backwards in the game. That's actually exactly how I'll solve this problem. Ooh, a pig with a hat. Ha ha, I have attacked a soaring hat. It's good for flying around. Let's see, another redwood tree. Oh, I guess I could always follow the line of redwood trees home. That'll, uh, you know, orient me properly. These things are just so cool. Okay, wow. Uh, it's almost night time. So, did I harvest enough or any wool? I guess I could make a bed if I just find some sheep. Sheep. I guess uh, there's some sort of sheep calls, right? The people who hunt sheep must have some sort of, like, whistle or something that they used to uh, get their attention. I don't know. I don't normally go sheep hunting. But, I mean, people have special dogs for it and everything, so it's got to be, like, one of those industries where you don't realize how, like, huge it is until you get involved with it, and then you're just like, oh, this is so expensive. Like astronomy, you know, you're like, oh, I like looking at the sky. And then you're like, oh, how much does this telescope cost? Oh, for another $500, I can set it up to track these stars with my camera on a motor, and then I can do long exposure photography, and... Then before you know it, you just don't have any money, you know? It's just, oh, you know, I can get this and then that and then this and then that. Okay, cool. So that's that same awesome loopy structure I saw earlier. And that's the same sun that I saw at the dawn, I think. So based on that information, I know my base is somewhere out that way. I'm probably going to hole up in literally a hole for the night. Oh, uh, this, this is not appropriate. This is not a good place to hole up. We need to class this up a little bit. So we're just going to come in here and throw down some fine marble fixtures. 
and you know light it up as is our way boom okay and then we'll just go ahead and close this that was the air being sealed in normally it doesn't do that but i, I made the noise with my mouth so anyway until next time y'all this is joe hills from nashville tennessee ending a video in a small hole instead of dramatically looking out over the landscape because he's an idiot Wow, that's such a better place to end the video. Keep adventuring.